Hello and welcome back to We Who Are About To Die. And I've learned a little bit more. Thanks to those of you in the comments, I gotta say I am extremely appreciative of basically any single tip that I don't know about already. I really cannot get enough of that because that's the funny thing about this game. It feels like you know everything in the first, I don't know, 10 minutes, right? 10 minutes, 15 minutes or whatever. But now here's the thing. It's actually secretly deep. And I'm not I'm not even talking about secretly here. It is very deep and you just Ah, you need to play it, you know. You need to play it and then you'll you get a good idea what's going on. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And so what we are doing now is we're gonna actually reveal a couple of things about the next fights before we decide on anything else. Obviously, I've made a couple of mistakes with this particular character but that just means that i'm gonna learn and i'm gonna get better and hopefully hopefully you're gonna be able to join me on that journey and we're gonna see what's going on anyway let's have a look okay that's a wild card uh okay that's a many versus many all right so i'm basically looking for spoils of the victor that is what i'm looking for because people have told me now that spoils of the victor is an extremely powerful uh, arena trait and that is something that I had no idea about before I had no idea that what you could actually do is go into the arena if you win it obviously which you're trying to do every single time of course but if you win it then you're going to be able to stay in the arena pick up the weapons and then you can sell them and in my opinion, that's actually kind of crazy. So I would love to be able to do that. Let me actually just reveal more about this. Oh, I really didn't want that. Oh, uh, well, unfortunate. Okay, so this is a level five. This is a level three. I'm probably going to do the level three one. But the problem is I wanted to know who the host was. Um, yeah, I wanted to know who the host was. So that's obviously a bit problematic. I don't re Yeah, mm. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go for it and we'll see what happens. I could technically um, do something else here. I could use a, I could use my axe, but personally, I actually really like the sword. So I don't really see the necessity for me to change that or anything. Uh, let me just take a quick look at this. I need to make sure that I'm actually fine. I think I am. You can see here that obviously I can do this. I, I do know about this, by the way, but I, I appreciate you letting me know anyway. Um, so technically what I could do is I could get shields. Because I have a sword that is actually pretty good, but I could get shields. That might actually be something kind of useful, but then the problem is I have very little fame then. I'm just, I'm just not sure whether that's worth it. Because I seem to actually be doing alright, even without a shield, surprisingly enough. Of course, I don't have the ability to train at the moment. I just want to show you that. As you can see, I am actually training anyway, because I'm... Uh, I, I purchased some more, you know, obviously beforehand. So that's actually really, really good. I do need to upgrade some of these things, but unfortunately I just have not enough money. And that's, as I said before, purely due to my own mistakes in regards to spoils of the victor, because that seems to be one of the best ways that you can make money. Of course, I do have one of the, according to some of you in the comments, I do have one of the hardest backgrounds for a character which is of course the slave background which makes it very hard to earn money anyway let's go and do the wild card i'm a bit worried about it as you might expect because usually in the first battle of an episode i always make <laughs> some kind of mistake and i die because I, that's the thing i can't practice you see i can't practice off screen because that would mean that i'm progressing without you being there and that's obviously, you know, I mean, I actually wonder, can I do the tutorial? I don't even know. Can I do the tutorial again and again? Because uh, then, I, then I can practice, you know, but I'm actually not entirely sure if I can do that. So we're just going to have to do this the old fashioned way. All right. Oh, oh, OK. It's just a what? It's a two versus one. This is weird. OK, that is that is <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, that is hilarious. He's got such a small shield. There's no way. Not in a million years he's going to be able to do anything here. I'm just going to murder him. There, there's nothing he can do. There's literally nothing he can do right now. Oh, I actually hit my own guy. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's be a little bit careful, shall we? Okay, yeah, he's uh, he's blocking. That's fine, that's fine. We're doing fine, we're doing fine. Just going to go for... Oh, I was going to go for an overhead right there. But my overhead was bad. My block was okay. I'm actually getting much, much better at blocking. At least I think so. And there we go. That was a wonderful victory. I think I probably would have been able to achieve victory even if 
that was a one-on-one. -on -one. I think that would have been fine. I don't think there's any need for me to... Wait a minute, can I pick up his shield? No, because that's Spoils of the Victor, right? Yeah, no, I can't pick up the shield uh, unless Spoils of the Victor is actually active, and that is not active at the moment. But yeah, you can see exactly what is happening now. So basically, the money, this 2000, is going to get cut in half due to our slave background, which is the main reason why we're actually hurting for cash. So I'm going to be looking out for Spoils of the Victor, and I'm also going to be looking out for doing battles for Mazza, because Mazza at the moment does not like us one bit, and it would probably be a really good idea for us to try and appease her a little. And so here we go. I'm going to take Stamina Region. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's absolutely fine. We restored some hit points, and yeah, as you can see, Escola takes its cut of 1,073, and the shop costs have been increased by 20%. All right, uh, the Imperial War... Uh, takes precedent over any entertainment. Yeah, sure. That's absolutely fine. And we're just going to unlock a couple of extra items here. All right. Oh, actually, we could get this. Uh, hmm. No. That's that's not actually any good. Never mind. That is not actually any good. Ooh, this is a wonderful, wonderful sword. I'd like to be able to get another one of these. Because I actually love this sword. I don't know about you, but... Personally, for me, I feel like this sword is amazing. Um, obviously, it is only adequate quality, but I'm thinking maybe it's going to be useful to kind of get it. I don't know. Maybe we should get a helmet. Mm, maybe we should get a helmet. Um, yeah, I think we should probably get a helmet because I'm currently not wearing one. So if someone hits me with an overhead attack or aims for my head or something like that, I'm probably going to take insane damage. So I'm actually going to be marking this to hold it's only going to be uh 300 fame so that's actually not even bad and let me just go very quickly over here i need to my my hp is okay so i don't think i need to spend 500 gold on this but i do need to train myself so let's see what i can do about that this is going to be a bit problematic in itself but uh let, let, let's see let's see all right so can i actually afford this oh no uh Yes, I can. Okay, that's just about. Ooh, that was close. All right, that's not, uh, that's not particularly good. And uh, see, now, here's the main reason, all right? Now, this is my, my own thought process over this. I know someone actually mentioned that I should be taking Extraordinary here because, obviously, the chance for more powerful items to be included in the shop is good, you know? I understand that. No problem at all because, obviously, the quality of the weapon or armor or something like that it's obviously going to be really beneficial however the main problem that i'm foreseeing is that then i'm not going to be able to afford anything because of my backstory as i say i'm going to have very little money so i'm not sure if me spending here is actually going to make that much difference because what if i have a problem and i can't i just can't afford anything i can't afford like a a weapon or something like that i mean i obviously have a backup weapon so i guess it's all right okay fine we're just going to do it why not I mean, it's all a learning experience, right? It's all a learning experience. We're going to learn together and see what happens. Okay. Oh, this is going to be problematic. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Luck of the drawer. Ooh, this might be good. This actually might be what we want. Let's reveal it. Ah, oh, no. This is not what we want. All right. That's kind of sad. Okay. I don't have any other fame, but this is pretty decent in terms of its fame and money. I mean, the money is all right. I'm not going to be able to afford anything because I'm obviously training once again. But this is for Mazza, which is exactly what we wanted to do. But we are going to have to go in without our sword. So I'm going to be fighting against... Who am I fighting against? A pit boss. Oh, dear. Well, I have no idea what the other thing is, of course, because I don't have any fame to be able to unlock it. So I guess we're just going to go for it. We're just going to go for it and see what happens. I'm... Uh, mm. I'm worried. I'm worried, as you might expect. All right, so let's have a look. All your equipment's durability will be maintained, and obviously I have to pick up something from the floor. All right, well, uh, I, I guess that shouldn't be too bad, right? It shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. Ooh, hello. Can I pick up this? Oh, it's a pole arm. Not a big fan of that. Uh, what about this one? Two-handed mace. Here we go. Two-handed mace. It's terrible. Oh, no, actually, it's good. Never mind. Okay. Woo -hoo. Murder him. Oh, oh, he's actually got nothing. Oh, no, he had nothing in his hands for a real quick second. Okay, I'm just, I'm just being... I'm, I'm basically just being careful about staying within range. 
And just trying to deflect, mostly. Ow. Okay, wait. Oh, no. I really want to... I really want to do massive, massive damage. Yes, there we go. There's massive damage. Can we get some more? Yes, we can. Oh, that was nice. We've got some good... We've got some good blocking on us right now. We've got some good blocking. He's dead. Look at that. Wow, that was so easy. That was so much easier than the normal. What? <laughs> I don't even know what happened. All right. Well, that's really nice. So... From what I've understood, actually, someone uh, mentioned very helpfully in the comments that, from what I've understood, the patrons, uh, basically what they do is they will determine what kind of um, after-battle event you might see. And so, as a result, you try to balance every single one of them as much as you can. Because if you do that, then they're going to give you less negative events. And Mazza, as far as I'm aware, is one of the worst ones, at least from what I can tell. I'm not sure if the others have terrible ones too, but from what I see, Mazza has caused us a lot more grief than the others. But obviously, as I say, uh, we've kind of done more battles with the others, so I'm not entirely sure how well that, ha how well that holds up, shall we say. Anyway, I'm going to take the two fr uh, free physician treatments because... Otherwise, I'm spending my hard-earned gold on healing. And that's obviously not what I want to do. So I'm going to take the, the physician. Thank you. And, but yeah, the items have been reserved. Okay, drunken escapades. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is a new event. I haven't come across this one before. Aloora informs you she will be holding a private feast and offers to mediate a meeting with you. One of the other patrons and many bottles of wine, free of charge. Aha, okay, so that basically, okay, ha ha ha, I see, I see. Right, we're going to receive some kind of disadvantage from this. I'm going to go for Maza's stories, because, as I say, I think that her events are kind of harsh, and Dor Doradus, I might be able to do more of, his, more of his battles, I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to go and do Maza, there we go. Ah, yes. So I suffer minus 30 max stamina, but I gain 15% favor with her, which in my opinion is pretty good. But how much max stamina do I have now? Can I actually tell? Uh, I think I have to go to the utility menu to be able to see that, but let's just unlock these things real quick first. Ooh, that is a nice sword. Look at that. That is a nice sword. It does have a piercing stab as well. Look at the range on this thing. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, problematic, isn't it not? Hmm. Problematic. When you are a person that doesn't have a lot of money and half of it gets taken, yeah, when that happens, you just... Oh, ew. it's terrible, isn't it? It's absolutely terrible. So I am actually not sure. I would love to get this sword. I think this sword looks it looks fantastic, but I feel I still feel like maybe I should be focusing on the helmet. So I'm going to focus on the helmet because being able to protect myself from damage is going to be much more important than not, if you know what I mean. I'd like to be able to afford this as well. Ooh, this is going to be great for me, actually. We do not have a right shoulder pad, as you can see. We do not have a right shoulder pad. So I'm thinking that I'm going to trade some fame. I know I said to someone in the comments, actually, I said, hey, you know what? I'm not going to trade any of my uh, fame anymore because it just gives you so little gold. But the thing is, I need very little, but then, I, then I'm not going to get the helmet. I'm not going to get the helmet then. 18% armor in comparison to 25% armor. I mean... I think this is actually good. I think this is actually good because it also gives me plus 20% fame multiplier. So I only need a little bit. So I'm going to trade a thousand fame. Uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, I have enough. And then we're also just going to heal ourselves real fast. I can actually do it twice, um, which, is, <laughs> which is amusing. So we're back to full HP, basically. And let me have a look at this. Yes, I can actually do some training too. So that's going to be great. But let me just very quickly make sure that I buy this. There we go. And now we have this on as well. Great. All right. So we're looking pretty decent. All things considered, I feel like I'm looking pretty decent. My sword is still in decent condition as well. Very surprisingly still in decent condition. So otherwise, we're just going to purchase a... Never mind. 
Yeah, I, I for some reason I thought I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to have enough money, aren't I? And and uh, for some reason I I still thought I was going to have enough money. But of course, no, no, of course I'm not going to have enough money. What an imbecile I am, but it's okay. It's absolutely fine. Let's see what we can do here. Uh oh wow. Okay, that is a level 8. We are level 7. Uh, actually level 6. Oh, uh, okay. I actually thought we were level 7, but uh, Maza, uh, what? Maza has minus six with us? I thought that she would have much more than that. Hmm. Oh, this is luck of the draw. Okay, not a big fan of that. What about this? Oh, this is also Maza. Okay, so as you can see, many versus many. Who are we against? I have no idea what Owakan Guardians and Blade Men are in comparison to the wild card, which is against an Owakan Blademan. Okay, I'm going to do this one just purely for the fact that this seems like a safer bet. And that's kind of what we've got to... We've got to reduce the amount of risk that I'm going into. You know what I mean? And especially considering I'm not that confident in my own abilities. You know, you know me by now, right? You know me by now. I'm not that, you know, not that secure in thinking, you know what? I, I'm going to gonna completely wreck this opponent. No, no, no. That's not what I'm thinking. I never think that. I think this guy's going to own me in some way, and then I'm going to be like, no, oh dear, I'm dead, and yeah, it's going to be terrible. Anyway, let's lock on to this fellow. He has a massive shield. That's not very pleasant. All right, let me see if I can just circle around him a little bit here. Nice damage. Oh, that was some nice damage. Okay, no, don't, don't attack me, sir. Are you serious? There we go. Oh, he wants to attack me because I'm doing so much damage to him. Okay, I'm, I'm just being careful here, alright? I'm just being careful because mostly um, I don't really want to get my weapon uh, destroyed. Nice. And he's dead. <laughs> you see what I mean, though? You see what I mean about this sword? I don't know, I don't know about you, but this sword is amazing. I love this sword. And it's the same thing with any long-reaching sword. I think the main problem that I have in this game specifically is with short range weapons and obviously this is you know this is not your issue it's it's definitely my issue like it's it's you know personal preference and so on but i think that in general ooh oh wait a minute massive amounts of gold or gear that i can sell for gold i think i'm going to take the gear yeah i'm going to take the gear why not that sounds pretty fun Ah, hello. Okay. Ah, oh, this guy's giving me a, a positive thing by the looks. Of, maybe a positive thing? Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, this is the first time we've actually met this fellow or that he's interacting with us. And he says, My dear boy, oh, 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 how nice to meet you. I saw you fight and I must say I was very entertained. <laughs> you did very well. Yes, yes. Good work. Quite strong. Valerius seems to stare into the void an unsettling amount of time with a glazed look before continuing. I like to offer new, fresh-faced aspirants, or I like to help, not offer. For some reason, I said offer. I'll give you the information of my promoter, contact her, and we'll set something up at my expense. Hopefully Valerius doesn't remember you've already met him. Many times before. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Oh, hello there. Valerius will pay his personal promoter to boost any campaign you launch, which will increase its reach. Okay, I have no idea what that actually means. Promotional campaigns? I don't know. This week we'll exchange gold for fame in a ratio of one for one. Okay, so does that mean this thing? Fundraising? Ah, no, here, the promotions. So, wait a Ah, okay, that's actually not that useful for me, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that is actually not that useful for me, as far as I'm aware. Um, so, that's actually sad, because if I was actually able to do it the other way around, where I was able to trade uh, this instead, that would be amazing. But it's this way, which is not that useful, which is very sad, in my opinion. I would have loved to have been able to... Um, <laughs> trade, you know, almost 6,000 fame for 
you know, an incredible amount of gold. But um, yeah, that's just not going to happen, unfortunately. All right, so we're going to train this week. Obviously, we're going to we're definitely going to train this week. And I've got a bunch of fame now. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to order some shields. So that's what we'll do. We're going to order some shields. And uh, is there anything else that I want to do here? Well, obviously, I do have some uh, I do have this now. What am I actually using? 25% 35%. So this is actually better, but the durability is less. Fame multiplier as well. This also has a fame multiplier. But it gives me slightly more armor, so I guess that's okay. Yeah, I guess that's alright. And I can also sell this now if I want to, which I think I probably will. It's I'm going to sell it for only 650, unfortunately, because of course, you know, that's just how it goes. And uh, we can also reveal these items, which is going to give me a little bit of extra fame. And let's have a look. Okay, I do have a chess piece. The chess piece is not that good, but it does give me a fame multiplier, which you've got to bear in mind. Ooh, what's this? Oh, no, that is a spear. No, thank you. All right. <laughs> I'm just, uh, that's the thing. I'm being very careful now in what I decide to take, and I'm actually thinking... Okay, my sword is okay. I think it's still going to be fine for at least maybe one or two more fights, and then I'm probably going to have to repair it. I'm not sure when weapons can start to break you know what i mean because obviously in some battles that we've been in we have gone in i've tried to block something and boom my weapon has just gotten destroyed so hopefully that's not going to happen this time okay so let's have a look see here Ooh, this is amazing next character inherits the item in the first auxiliary inventory slot that would be really really useful for me but of course, I'm going to need 10,000 fame, which I think I might be able to, I might be able to get there. I might be able to get there. Anyway, let me just buy six training gear. That's going to be enough to get me some more stamina. And I think we're pretty good. I, I'm actually a feral beast now, hilariously enough. I need to do some more battles for Juridus, as you can see. Um, I have 50 out of 100 stamina, by the way, uh, in, in terms of skill. And my weapon, well, my weapon types are actually pretty widely spread, amusingly enough. My two-handed sword skill is actually pretty good, all, all things considered. I've never really used it, which is kind of weird. Anyway, um, yeah, I think, yeah, I think we're, I think we're pretty good. All right. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. So I can basically just continue onward now. I don't, do I want to re-roll anything? Do I want to re-roll? Yeah, okay, let's re-roll once. Okay, uh, this helmet, whoa, plus 40% fame multiplier, that might be really good, but 2,700 for it, I mean, and I'm going to have to hold it, ah, it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't seem that useful, okay, Jorodus, fantastic, we've got a, a couple of fights from Jorodus here, this is a one versus one, I'm going to, un, un, uh, well, uncover this, let's see, who are we fighting, a Mirrodon infantry, okay, wait a minute, who are we fighting over here, Okay, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this one, I gotta say. I feel like, yeah, this is gonna go bad, in my opinion. This is also gonna go bad, but um, <laughs> uh, this has a better reward. So I'm gonna just take the one with the better reward. I don't have enough to bet, as far as I'm aware. I need a thousand to bet, mm -hmm. as you can see. Not gonna be able to do that, unfortunately. So yeah, just into battle, let's do it. Um, I think I think I'm uh, I'm feeling a bit more positive. Okay, a bit more positive. We haven't died, which is great because obviously, whenever I have said to you, you know, uh, I feel like this character is going to be the one that actually goes further. Then as soon as that happens, it's all over, <laughs> and we just start dying randomly. All right, so this is not my favorite arena as well, by the way. Uh, not a big fan of this because it is just so incredibly easy to. Um, kind of catch up with the opponent uh this is bad yeah this is uh this is actually kind of bad okay block that i need to destroy his sh oh that was nice okay that was a that was a nice hit oh i did not like that though okay i'm just that's the thing i i'm not oh no this is bad i'm not good against oh i'm not good against people with shields I need to, oh no, I need to run, oh no, I needed to run away, oh that is not gonna, that is not gonna help me, oh I think I'm dead actually, 
I think I'm dead. I'm not that good. Okay, I'm not that good at blocking, all right? I'm not that good at blocking. Not against this guy, at least. Um, okay, there we go. There's a block. His shield's gone. Yes! Oh, no. Wait, wait. Careful. Careful. Don't get... Don't get out... Don't get out of sorts now. Don't get out of sorts now. No! Okay. Ah, uh, I saw it coming as well. I saw it coming and I thought to myself, yeah, okay. <sighs> oh well, never mind. We actually survived the highest that we've ever done so far. And in my opinion, I feel like that's okay. I, I think that's alright, you know? It's a learning experience. We'll do better. We'll do better next time. Alright, here we go. Former soldier, what actually happens here? Uh, this is actually good. This is actually great. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. We don't have any of the really, really hard, um, you know, uh, <laughs> attributes or traits. And so it's going to be, um, it, it's going to be pretty good, actually. Porting, uh, cabbage. Yes, wonderful. It's, it's almost as though I have a dictionary open on the other screen or something like that. I'm looking at it and I'm like, yes, let me let me just randomly select a uh, some some random word at the front and then a vegetable. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, there we go. Uh, let's let's have a look at what we have. Okay, this is terrible, as you might expect. So I should probably buy something relatively soon. This is actually quite good, and it's a it's a two-handed. And I love two-handed, but obviously my stamina region at the moment is terrible, and I don't really want to buy anything immediately, because obviously we need to train much, much more. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, and we're just going to have to deal with the fact that I probably have a terrible weapon. So we're just going to go over here. We're going to do the maximum training. One-handed sword? I guess we'll go with one-handed sword for the moment, and we're just going to buy all of that. There we go. I have 1,750. Bear in mind, every single... And now here's the, here's the cool thing now, yeah? Every single time we win, we are going to gain massive amounts of gold because it's no longer going to be taken by the Skolo, which is what it was, uh, you know, what was happening before. So I am very, very interested about this. And I have a shield now as well, which is actually kind of useful. All right, so many versus one, that might be fun. Or what about this? The wild card. Oh, dear. I'm against a civilian, but I mean, a civilian... Uh, okay, let's just do... This is a many versus many. Okay, I'm going to do the civilian, just purely for the fact that it's going to give me the most reward. And we know that at the very beginning of a run... It shouldn't be... Oh, spoils to the victor! Okay. Alright, we've got to win this. Alright, we've got to win this. This is, uh, this is a big deal. This is a big, big deal. We need to make sure that we do this. And if we can do this, then this is going to be a very good start to this run. And hopefully... Hopefully I'm not going to die from a civilian. Let's face it. Okay, uh, he's got a... <laughs> He's, he's just got a regular weapon. We should be able to win. Uh, oh, yeah. I've got really low stamina. I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, I was used to my other character. Okay, he's, he's going to block. That's fine. Oh, you're, you're throwing weapons at me, sir? That is not going to work, sir. That is not going to work. I'm sorry to tell you. Yeah, I've got to move away more with my with my sword, actually. Moving away is much, much more useful. Uh, I have no stamina to actually do anything right now. Nice damage. Okay, I'm not sure why he's using all the weapons on the floor. Almost every single weapon he has used, which is really strange, but there you go. Is he dead? No, no, almost, almost. I think he's, I think he's almost dead. Nice damage, nice damage. Can we get some more? Yeah, there we go. I kind of sensed that he was a little bit, you know, a little bit dead. Okay, so now let's not use tab, all right? Um, I need to pick up a really good weapon or the golden jug. Someone told me about the golden jug. I don't know. Is that the golden jug? No, that's not the golden jug. Okay, so I'm actually not entirely sure. Let me just drop this real quick. Okay, so now we can actually see 
Now this is the this is the really really awesome thing. Uh, unfortunately, it is very early on in the game, so I'm probably not going to be getting anything amazing. Um, but you can see how much these things are going to sell for. You see, and that's the thing. So obviously, my one is ah, this is good. Oh, this seems nice. 600 gold? I guess that's pretty good. I think that is probably the best I'm going to get. Yeah, I think that's the best I'm going to get, so I'm going to pick that up. Um, wait a minute, was that the thing? No, this is the thing. There we go. Alright, so yeah, that's basically all I can do, unfortunately. I'd like to... <laughs> I would have liked to have gotten something better than that, but um, I think that's pretty decent. You know, we got a, we got a, a sword that is 600 gold. And we also won, obviously, which was pretty good. But yeah, that's exactly the thing that I didn't realize you could do before. And so now we realize it. Now things are actually going to be pretty good. All right, so I'm just going to select look to the other slaves and put in an acceptable amount of effort so as to not stand out. That seems to be the best one, because as you can see, you gain favor with all the patrons and eight max stamina, which is always nice. And then what else do we have here? Well, nothing really that I want to buy. Uh, how's my shield doing? My shield is literally about to be destroyed, but I'm not sure if I really care about it that much this early on. I think a shield later is definitely going to help me. But as it stands right now, yeah, I, I don't know whether it really matters that much. I think the, the most that I have to do, I'm just going to heal, obviously, but the most that I have to do is train. Training is very, very important. So obviously we're going to do that. Uh, we might want to do the extra extraordinary thing right now. Maybe we could. Mm, let me just check what kind of battles we have, because obviously I might need the fame. And that's one of the things that I also didn't realize that you could do. So basically what you can do is you can go to the battle menu. You can take a look and see exactly what is going to be happening. And then you can make decisions based on that information, which in my opinion is very, very useful. All right, wow, these are way too difficult for me, in my opinion. Oh, wow, all of them seem extremely difficult. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is a one versus one. That is a level four. I'm level one. Yeah, highly unlikely I'm going to be able to do that, right? I'm going to reveal it just because I want to see who I'm fighting. A pit barbarian, and he's got a shield. Yeah, not in a million years. This is a... What? You think I can beat this guy? I mean, these people? No way, not in a million years. Okay, I'm going to have to take this one, which is not something that I want to do, but I'm going to have to. I don't know who I'm fighting against either, which is also a bit of a problem. Should I continue to spend fame, or should I just go and unlock the extraordinary thing? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll just go for extraordinary. This is the only thing that I can really take anyway. The others are just... The others are impossible for me right now, in my opinion. I mean, I, I would be able to do it if I was slightly more skilled, but as it stands, no, no, no. No, thank you. No, thank you. All right. Okay, so I, I don't know. There's no spoils to the victor here, right? No, I don't think so. All right. Should be fine, though. I'm actually feeling a bit optimistic about this because we don't have the whole 50% gold going away every single time. And so whenever we actually win, we're going to be getting the full benefit of that. Which is going to be super nice. Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay, we just got to kind of keep uh, keep our distance, keep our distance a little bit, and just make sure that we are hitting the guy with the most lethal part of our weapon. That's going to be the most important thing we can do. Uh, he says as he fails spectacularly to do that. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful thing! Oh, nice. There we go. I love these kinds of swords. I'm not sure what it is, but these kinds of swords really speak to me so nicely. They seem to really work super nicely for me. I don't know. Um, as I say, basically getting a sword or any weapon, actually, that has a decent amount of reach. Oh, this guy's got a frying pan now. What, what are we doing? Are you serious? Come on now. Are we cooking? Are we cooking? No, you, you shouldn't be cooking, sir. You should sit down. Ah, I, I thought that would actually be the killing blow, but no, it was not. He's, he's taking an absolute battering from us right there. Oh, there we go. He's actually dead. All right, so no spoils to the victor, unfortunately, so I won't be able to pick anything up. Um, but yeah, it would be amazing. Uh, actually, does the golden... Wait a minute. I'm just going to ask a question right now. I don't, know whether, I don't know whether this is actually a thing, but when the golden jug appears, can you actually pick it up 
even without spoils to the victor? Because I, I, I doubt that, right? You're going to need spoils to the victor to be able to make that work, I assume. Because if you pick that up, then you're going to be able to sell it for 5,000 gold, and then it's going to be amazing. At least that's what I've that's what I've seen. I don't know. Anyway, movement skill or throw. Oh no. Okay, movement skill. I guess is going to be the thing I'll take because throwing skill. I'm not really ever going to use that. I think I will probably later on down the line when I get a little bit better. But as it stands right now, no. Anyway. Ah yes. This uh, he's basically just going to give me 500 gold. So that's really nice. And we now have 2,700, which is actually remarkably good. Pretty, uh, pretty happy with that. And we also have a wonderful shield here that might actually be kind of decent. Look at it. It's got 360 durability. It gives me a fame multiplier of plus 15. And also the shield is not weak against cleaving damage. This seems kind of cool. But the problem with this is that I will not be able to train. You see, that is the main problem there. And I will also need to reveal some things about this particular one-on-one. -on -one. This is Joradus once again. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah. As you can see. Bit too expensive, isn't it? Uh, this is a very... Oh, this is an easy one. That's way too easy. I can't reveal anything about this because this is shrouded. As you can see. So it's either I go in versus a level 5. And who's this? A Lion Slayer. Okay, I have no idea what kind of stats he has, but I'm going to assume it's going to be insane. So probably not the best idea. I am pretty much at full HP, so there's nothing really much I can do apart from just train. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And is there anything else I want to do? Mm, maybe. Uh, how's my weapon looking? It's looking fine at the moment. <sighs> I could re-roll. I could re-roll and try to get a decent shield. Because my shield is about to break, as you can quite clearly tell. So I'm actually wondering whether I could... Yeah, I'm going to re-roll it. Okay, we got a we got a good... Oh, wow. This is a worse shield than the previous one. Uh, yeah, okay, well. What about this? The helm is not necessary. This is also... Oh, this is actually not bad. Yeah, it gives me 10% more protection, and it gives me a fame multiplier as well. Okay, fine, let's just do this. There we go. Yep, that's actually good. And we can then reveal something new, which I think is... Uh, yeah, this is a godly. Yeah, as I thought, this is godly. So that's not really going to work out too well. Okay, so that's pretty much all I can do. Unfortunately, not going to be able to get a shield here. But, uh, yeah, I mean, what, what else can I really do? There, there isn't much I can do. So I guess we will just go ahead and I could just do the, I don't know. I could just do the easy one, right? I could do the easy one, which is quite clearly easy. Or I could do this one, which we have no idea about. What do you think? <laughs> uh, let me have a look. Uh, the bets are... Not that good. Okay, yeah. I'm going to take the risky one. But <laughs> if I was if I was playing safe, right, and I wanted to survive as long as possible, I would have taken the level one. But I'm doing this purely for the fact that I just want to see if we can maybe, you know, get, you know, a better benefit from it or something. Okay, let's, let's hope it's not a one versus many. No, it's a one versus one, and this guy has a two-handed. Okay, we might be okay with this. He's a civilian. Okay. Uh, that's actually not even bad. What is he doing? Is he literally running at me? Okay, there we go. <laughs> he was running at me with a with a mug of ale or something. That is actually hilarious. Okay, so yeah, he's... Um, yeah, he's quite clearly not really knowing what to do. So, I oh, my shield is gone, which is unfortunate. Okay, here we go. Okay, yeah, he's, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Not a problem. He's dead. All right, that was, yeah, that was a good bet on my part because, let's face it, you know, uh, if you have the ability to kind of... I don't know, just, I mean, it's early on in the game, right? It's early on in the game, it's not going to be too difficult, but thankfully it wasn't a one versus many. If it was a one versus many, I would be having some huge problems right there. 
Anyway, let's have a look. Oh, massive amounts of fame, or we can get a one-handed sword, which is actually not bad. It sells for 1900 as well. Yeah, I think I will take this because money is really important, and especially considering I might be able to re-roll the shop and actually get a better weapon. So that's what I'm, I'm thinking we're going to take this. Uh, okay. Oh, accept this gift. Aspirant straps or humbly decline the gift. Aspirant straps doesn't sound particularly good, but I don't have any space. I'm going to say no, and he's going to give me a thousand fame instead, which I think is pretty good because that allows me to unlock another inventory slot. And then we're just going to have a look and see what else is going on here. Okay. So I'm probably going to use this sword. Yeah. I'm probably going to use this sword. This is much better than my previous one, or not much better, but slightly better. And then we're just going to sell this for 700, I guess. And then maybe I'll purchase something else like, uh, oh yeah, these are, these are, these are difficult to deal with. These are difficult to deal with. All right. Yeah. So we're not going to do anything there, but I am going to train, obviously. That's going to be something that is always going to happen. And I think, you know what? I think that seems like a pretty good place to end this episode off here, but uh, I think Porting Cabbage seems like seems like he's gonna be the guy that will get the furthest. Even though we've already we've we've actually gotten pretty far. Let's just take a quick look. How f oh, wait wait a minute wait a minute how far do I need to actually get? How can I see that? Ah, oh, there we go there we go. I got to Feral Beast. I was almost at Leg Shaker. But I got to Feral Beast, so we need to get to Feral Beast or above, and then you're going to be able to see, um, you know, see how far Porting Cabbage is going to get. Hopefully he's going to do quite well. Anyway, if you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.